In the previous modules, we showed you how to create a great site with WordPress. But creating a great site isn't enough. You want people to actually visit it as well. Unfortunately, just having a good site isn't enough to make that happen. And that's where the real challenge begins. Of course, our travel bloggers can ask their friends and family to check out their site. They'll say it's very cool, and that's awesome. But this is an international travel blog we're talking about. Our bloggers, and we assume the same applies to you, are going to want to make sure that they have some traffic coming in from other sources as well. But how? Creating a WordPress site is only the first step on your way to stardom. For the other steps, you need to work on your SEO. Before we start giving you tips, let's first take a look at what SEO actually is and why you should work on it. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It is the process of improving websites and content to get more traffic from search engines. SEO has an on-page part and an off-page part. On-page SEO is everything you do on your site itself to make it better. It consists of a technical part as well as a content part. Both have to be awesome for you to have a chance of doing well in the search results. Off-page SEO encompasses everything you do outside of your site to get people to visit it, like social media or organizing events. Working on your SEO means improving the chance your site will be the one people will actually visit. When you visit the WordPress homepage, you'll notice it has an illustration saying the CMS is SEO friendly. That's true, but by installing WordPress, you get a pretty good experience out of the box. A lot of basics are handled well by WordPress. But it would be a mistake to think that you're ready to rank after installing WordPress. In this module, we'll show you how to avoid this trap. We'll first tell you what WordPress does for you. We'll also explore how Yoast SEO can help and what you have to do yourself. So, what does WordPress do out of the box? WordPress helps you get going quickly, and it's a pretty solid platform to work on. Among other things, it supports so-called pretty permalinks, so you can use SEO-friendly URLs like this one rather than this one. We've shown you how to do this earlier in the course. WordPress also supports the title tag. This makes sure that the title you entered is also rendered in the code, so the search engines know exactly where to find the all-important title of your post. Also, WordPress automatically deals with duplicate content on some pages. By that, we mean that you sometimes show the same content on different URLs. Let's consider an example. Say you sell products in different colors and sizes. You have a different URL for each product variation, but the description of the product stays the same. This may seem harmless, but as a matter of fact, it can really hurt your rankings because duplicate content confuses Google. WordPress solves this for some pages by adding a so-called canonical link, showing that one version of the page is the one you want to show in the search engines. It doesn't do this for all pages, however, but we'll get back to that in the next video. Out of the box, WordPress also redirects posts whenever you change their titles, which is very convenient. Imagine if you decide you don't like the way you framed your post. You rewrite it, and then you still have the old URL, which doesn't fit the contents of your post anymore. It would be very confusing for visitors and search engines alike. And lastly, a recent addition is the health check dashboard that shows you how your site is doing in a technical sense. But even with the things WordPress does automatically when it comes to SEO, WordPress still needs help. Now, it is possible to optimize your site all by yourself, but we wouldn't recommend that. It would take ages and you'd really have to know your stuff. There are tons of WordPress SEO plugins out there that can help you take care of the most important improvements, like Yoast SEO. And of course, you need to do some things yourself. In the next two videos, we'll explore exactly that.